With the November general elections now just around the corner, we thought it would be timely to remind voters, as in would-be potential voters, just how easy it is to register to vote, or to vote early by absentee or mail-in ballot. So we traveled up to the Dorset Town Hall where we sat down with their town clerk, Sandra Pinsano, to hear how that works. Well, they can do one of two things. They can go into their local town clerk's office and register in person, or they can go online to the vermont.gov website and go to the, the My Voter page and register online. Or actually, they can do it when they get their Vermont driver's license as well. And how soon before election day do people need to have registered in order to there, be able to vote? There is no requirement. They can actually register the day of. They okay. can come in and register to vote the day of election and vote as soon as they register. So within a matter of five minutes. And do they need some kind of ID or? No, re no ID is required in the state of Vermont. Okay. Um, so that sounds pretty simple and straightforward then. Um, and I guess uh, the other question I had was uh, on early and absentee voting. What are, what are the rules around that? How, how early do you have to you know, sort of register with the town clerk to let them know that you want to uh, want to vote early or absentee? You can let them know whenever you want. Within you can do it like actually for a one year request. And so they can put, we can actually put everybody into the computer system that they want their ballots for the year. Um, but there's a 45 day requirement. Ballots are not available till 45 days prior to the election. So we can't actually give you or mail you a ballot until those 45 days. So early voting is is all done through mail or is. The general elections, the state of Vermont passed a law that the general elections, all voters that are uh, current voters will get a ballot mailed to them. Otherwise, if you come in, move in after the, this coming Friday, you come into town and you want a ballot, we have to physically mail it to you. It won't be part of the batch mailing from the Secretary of State's office. And do a lot of folks tend to vote absentee or early voting or mail-in? Has that been increasing? Uh, in recent years? There was an increase. Uh, the 2020 was the first time we did it. And um, so this is the second attempt. Um, I think it did increase the volume, not particularly a whole lot. I think a lot of people still like to come in and watch their ballot physically themselves, put it through the ballot machine. And what's the general percentage of the checklist uh, like here in Dorset that uh, folk, folks tend to vote? I mean, is it like around 50%, 60% or? It depends. For, for unfortunately, for our local voting, it's usually around thirty percent. And when there's a presidential, it's usually around sixty to seventy percent. And general elections are usually around the, the fifty percent mark. Okay, so it sounds pretty simple. Then you know, voters, even if they're not registered, they just come in and fill out a form, day of the voting, and absolutely, it's really simple. It's, there's nothing required. You don't have to show ID when you come to vote. Vermont has made it very, very simple. Your vote counts and matters, and election officials work very hard to ensure that all votes are counted and that the results are accurate. Your vote is your voice. So if you can't make the time to get to the local polling place on Election Day, you have options. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.